Hi folks, it's John. I'm here today to talk with you about a new project we just started. It's a bathroom remodel. And what they want to do here at this house is to put everything back exactly where it was just to make some upgrades. So for example, this is the location of the original vanity. So we're going to put a new vanity in place here. One of the things I want to show you that's uh, a little unique to this house and probably a lot of homes that were built in the 80s and 90s and take a look at this flexible line here. It's a gray color flexible line. That's actually uh, polybutylene, which you, they, we don't use that anymore. And the reason is um, the joints will have a history of coming apart over time. And if they do, next thing you know, you have a leak going down through the walls of your home. Now in this particular case, we're gonna pull these lines out of here and we're gonna actually go all the way down to the next floor we're going to have to take some drywall out, but we're going to replace those lines um, all the way down to the water source so that we don't have any future problems. This is the original drain here. If you take a look over here in the corner, uh, this is the back side of the tub. And let me just take a quick look at these lines too. The same material was used on this tub area. So both of these pipes are going to have to get removed and get replaced so we don't have future issues. The other thing I want to show you here is take a look at the floor. We started to pull the, all the tile out. This material you see here, this is Dora Rock. This was put down in order to give a solid surface for the tile to go in place. One of the problems with this particular floor is that the subfloor is made with a combination of plywood on the bottom. So all down under here where I'm trying to move this out of the way here. There's plywood inside of this area, but on top of the plywood is this pressed uh, press board. And you can take a look at it. It's actually called particle board. The problem with particle board is that once it gets wet, it just starts to crumble and fall apart like you can see what's happening here. So our plan is to take all the particle board out first. We're gonna leave the plywood underneath it because that should be in pretty good shape. And then we're going to go over top of the plywood with three quarter inch plywood. So it's going to give us a nice strong surface so that we can put the tile in place without getting any um, cracks and, and grout lines cracking, tile cracking, and so on, because we're going to take all the flex out of the floor. Over here, you can see where the drywall has been damaged. The reason for that is when we were pulling the baseboard tile off of the drywall, the drywall came off with it. And that's pretty common that that will happen. You can take a look over on this side, and what you're gonna see is there are still some baseboard pieces still in place. And as we pull these off, they're glued very tightly to the drywall underneath. So the drywall, we're expecting to be damaged all the way around. So what we will do is we'll cut out a piece of drywall all the way across the room, maybe a foot or so high, and replace the drywall and so that when we get the new tile baseboard, we'll actually be able to uh, have a good strong surface. So what I'm trying to say here is that with tile work, the key is the subfloor, the key is the, the, the surface underneath the tile is what's going to give you a long lasting job, assuming that it's a good, good structurally, it doesn't have any bounce in it, and um, by taking care of all those things, you'll end up with a nice tile job at the end of the day. Over here, they have a five foot tub. This original tub was fiberglass and you can see there's a line in it. This line, we actually started to cut the tub. Why are we gonna cut the tub? Well, in order to get a five foot tub out of this house, we're gonna to have to cut it in half to get it down through the hallway and down the steps to the first floor. Now, how did it get in here? Well, lots of times what we find with a builder is that they'll put the tub in before they put the walls in. So it's easy to get it in, but it's hard to get it out. Now, what is the plan here in this bathroom here, in this part of the bathroom? We're gonna put a new tub in place. It's not gonna be blue, it's gonna be white. Uh, we're looking for a steel tub right now. And then on all the walls, instead of having the fiberglass walls that you see now, We'll make all of that tile and we'll take the tile 
all the way up to the ceiling. We're gonna actually remove that crown molding and get the tile to tuck up to the ceiling and then do some rework with the crown molding. So that's this part of the bathroom. Um, the toilet's in this area also. It's actually been removed. You can see here uh, the flange. Um, we're probably gonna end up moving that up when we put the new plywood in so that we get a good tight seal under the toilet. I noticed in this area a lot of damage, like particularly over here where this particle board starts to start to fall apart. Chances are this toilet was actually leaking somewhere around the flange and over a period of time, the water started to uh, damage all the floor underneath the tile. Um, we're also going to take a look at this valve here. You can see it's green. That's an indication of a leak. And these are things that are very small leaks that happen over years. And then you start to get your fittings start to get corroded. So that's going to get replaced. And in addition, we're going to take a look to see what the source of the water is. And if it's a, a polybutylene, we're also going to replace that too. So uh, next time that we uh, come out here and do a video, uh, hopefully we'll have the uh, tub in place and uh, be working on the floor. So thanks for listening and looking forward to uh, showing you how this project progresses. Thank you.